Hi everyone, it's the Fierce Little Jules here with a helpful tip video. I'm going to be showing you uh, what you can use to draw and paint on your polymer clay items without messing them up. So yeah, let's get, start ah, let's get started. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what my friend taught me to use is to use a ballpoint pen. It doesn't have to be this kind, but yeah, it does have to be a ballpoint pen because ballpoint pens, I don't know if you noticed, but they're used with a very viscous, thick gel. So if you were to write something down, you can notice uh, it immediately dries up. Other, except for um, gel or liquid pens, these will cause horrible, horrible things to happen to your polymer clay atoms because these will bleed into your items, so do not use that. Um, one way that my friend uses a uh, ballpoint pen for polymer clay is to write uh, facial features such as eyes, uh, mouth, and whiskers on uh, on this kitty, for example. This is a kitty from an anime called Lucky Star. And yeah, it's really cute. If you can see. So yeah, it will not bleed because it is a very viscous shell. And yeah, I thought it was really awesome that she thought of that. And again, do not use this because it will bleed and leave a horrible mess for your uh, polymer clay items. Speaking of horrible mess, <laughs> uh, do not use Sharpies. I've had somebody ask me, um, can I use polymer clay uh, and Sharpies together? Uh, what would happen kind of thing? And I said, it, do not use Sharpies because they will bleed into the polymer clay. And even if you glaze them and you glaze them, then draw on, uh, draw on the glazed polymer clay item, it will still come off. This is not that permanent, trust me. This will rub right off the second you uh, put it on. So yeah, that was a horrible idea on my part because I thought I could get away with it. But yeah, I couldn't. So do not use Sharpies unless you want to ruin your uh, polymer clay items. Um, another thing you can use are Palmer, for polymer clay are um, these paint pens. This is an acrylic paint pen from Craftsmart. And I was kind of disappointed because it said fine on it, fine line. And on the picture, it depicted a very fine, fine line. So I bought this because I thought it was really good, thought it would be really good. But I mean, this is really good for a uh, acrylic paint pen, but I was upset that it wasn't fine. But other than that, its performance is amazing. Because unlike acrylic paints, which I will show you a bit later, uh, this is very liquidous and it dries a lot quicker than polymer, uh, than acrylic paint. I'm sorry, I keep saying polymer. Uh, so yeah, I really like this. Um, pol uh, paint pens, I'm sorry, I keep saying polymer. Uh, paint pens range of about 2 to $4.00. Now, when I went to the store today, I haven't used these yet, by the way. When I went to the store today at Blick, and I asked them, uh, like, what they would recommend, they said, I recommend you use Pen Touch or Deco Color. I would definitely recommend you use Deco Color uh, for um, a paint pen and to buy it oil based. When I asked why, they said, this is very good for sticking to almost anything and it's if you as as you can see <laughs> sorry i haven't used this pen yet but i will in the future trust me uh they said that since this is enamel based or oil based this will stick to almost any surface i have so it's good for uh even putting on top of your glazes if it's not glazed yet you can still put it on so yeah these are really good and when i asked about sharpie pens he just shook his head and was like, Sharpie's not a very good brand of paint pen. I would recommend these from overseas. These two are from uh, Japan. These are, yeah, Japanese paint pens. And yeah, because Sharpie uh, only focuses on making permanent markers. It's not really good with anything else. So do not buy a Sharpie because it's not only expensive, it's really not worth your money. Speaking of acrylics, as I was saying earlier, uh, this is a type of acrylic that is very popular uh, among almost everyone I know uh, that does crafts. Craftsmart ranges from about 69 cents to a dollar, and the performance is really well. 
there are a lot of different color choices and there are a ton of different types of acrylic paints. This is regular and I have two gloss. Now they also have outdoor paints and they also have glitter, metallic, all different kinds of stuff. You should really check that out. And for me, I'm lazy. So if I were to paint with uh, these two different reds, this is kind of like a blood red and this is kind of like a bright red. Um, you can use these uh, as a gloss as well, the gloss acrylic paints. You can paint them on, uh, let, leave them to dry, and yeah, they'll all, already, already be gloss, I'm sorry. And yeah, it'll be perfectly fine. This, however, regular Craftsmart paint will be matte. So yeah, I didn't really like that. But I'll, I could glaze it. I mean, it was really no problem. Um, this is not matte. This is very uh, glossy. Uh, this is from Blick. This is a black acrylic paint. And yeah, I really like the performance on this. Now you can apply all these different polymer clay paints with a brush, skewer, needle. Well, I'm I'm starting to turn very lazy, so I bought these paint pens. But I used to paint with a needle, if you can believe it. Um, Valeria is also a brand that I really like to use, but this is like all gone now. So yeah, I have this one. Valeria was really good for me. Uh, not really good for my pocket, but yeah, it was really good. So I really liked using that. This one also put a dent in my wallet. This is about $7. This is Liquitex. And this is a very, very good brand of acrylic paint. So the better your brand is, the less uh, paint you have to use. And all of these paints can be uh, mixed in with water. This is uh, from Ceramic Coke Delta. Uh, this is a turquoise. I just bought it because I really like turquoise. Um, you can use scribbles and you can put it, apply it on a paintbrush if you weren't going to squeeze it directly from the bottle. You can also use these as paints as well. When they dry, it will form kind of a weirdish, glossy, rubber looking texture. But yeah, it's still glossy if you still want to use it. It's up to you. Um, but this is a fabric paint, so be sure to wash your paintbrushes as soon as possible or any, um, any of it that got on your skin. And you can also use liquid leaf or liquid gold leaf and this will give a metallic hue to any of your uh, items and it doesn't really matter if it bleeds or not because it will so if you were to use this do not use this in small amounts because this comes in two chemicals one is the metallic chemical uh and one is the base and what you sh is uh, it's why the re it's the reason why you shake it up. So if you were to like put a dot on it, the metallic color will stay there, but the base color will run, and you can see like it will be a ring of red or something. And yeah, just use this. If you were to use this, cover the entire charm with it. So yeah, that's all the stuff I use to uh, draw and paint on my uh, polymer clay items that I recommend to you. So yeah, I hope you thought this was helpful to you. Um, please comment down below if you have any questions uh, or any videos you would like me to make next. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!